the next lesson, which is the oil cooler or heat exchanger. Here I have an oil cooler that's been removed from a vehicle, it's been cleaned, colour coded and sectionalised for instructional purposes. This is the top of the oil cooler, this is the bottom, the left hand side and the right hand side of the oil cooler. Located around the outside of the oil cooler in green is the body. The object of the oil cooler body is to house and protect all the internal components inside the actual oil cooler itself. On the right hand side here we have the coolant inlet. The object of the coolant inlet is to allow the coolant into the small bore tubes in order to pass through the oil cooler. And this will be more apparent why it does this in a second. On the left hand side here we have the coolant outlet. The object of the outlet is to allow the coolant out of the oil cooler itself. Located on top of the oil cooler, we have two openings, here and here. This opening here is the oil inlet. The object of the oil inlet is to allow oil into the oil cooler itself. And here we have the oil outlet. The object of the outlet is to allow the oil out of the oil cooler. And point to note, the oil will pass down, back up, down, back up, all the way through the oil cooler in a zigzag formation. On looking inside, you can see there is a larger bore tube in the centre of the actual oil cooler. Action then. With the engine running, the coolant is pumped and comes in contact with the oil cooler inlet. The tubes within the oil cooler pick up the coolant and pass it through to the outlet. As the cool coolant's passing through, the hot oil comes down and goes in and around all the small tubes, up and down and passes through the oil cooler till it comes to the outlet and on to the next point. As it's passing over the tubes with the cool coolant in, the heat is taken from the oil and passed to the coolant. Thank you for listening to the oil cooler lesson.